to the right, 9.5 gallon per hour, and hit enter. We're gonna put it to full because we have full fuel. Then we're gonna go back to OK, hit enter again. All right, and then that's it for here. We're gonna verify expiration date and everything, January 28th of 2021. So we're good. All right, so just go ahead and hit enter. All right, so I'm gonna show you a different way now how to do it. All right, okay. so if, if you use your big knob, Go all the way up, small knob, to get to that point. Go over big knob again. Demo we can change it November manually. One Juliet. All right. On runway and since it's going to be full fuel, you'll just hit enter. Go back down. OK. All right. OK. Cool. So we already get that set in. Now we're going to go over here to the G500 screen. All right. We're going to make sure that all the dates are accurately done and put in. So February, February, February 21, 21, 21. Cool, so we're gonna hit go ahead and hit enter. Alright, perfect, and then that, that pops up. Alright, great. And now we're gonna go ahead and listen to the weather. Alright, so go ahead and listen to it, so make sure that the frequency is, is good. So, Danville Unicom is 123.05, so this is COM1 is user talking, COM2 is user weather, Danville weather is 128.125. So, since we're using COM2 for the weather, we're gonna Hit COM2. Okay. Listen for the weather. 1,400. Danville Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. 1356. Zulu. Wind 220 at 03. Visibility 10. Sky condition broken. 1, 2,000. Temperature 00, zero Celsius. Dew point minus 0, 04 Celsius. Altimeter 3027. Remarks. Density altitude minus 1,400. Got it? Danville right, Regional so going to turn Airport. Alright, so altimeter is what? 3026. Alright, so for here, altimeter is right here, so you're going to go ahead and press the bar button. Okay. Alright, press it. Yep, and then just use the big knob to highlight it. The 27. There you go. All right, and that, with, with that being said again, it's also right here, so just put 3027. Yep, that, that should be fine. All right. traffic, so, no matter what, then we should be plus or minus 75 feet of field elevation at all times for the altimeter setting, right? Okay. So if the altimeter setting is missing, you know that we should be plus or minus 571 at Danville, so it should always read the field at the Cool. Alright, so they say winds are 220 at 3 knots. What runway do you think we might use? We have, what runway do we have here at Danville? We have 20 and 31, so 20 is going to be the best one to pick. Alright, two, 20, zero, right. So now before we text, we're going to go ahead and get our taxi diagram out and everything. Alright, so here, we like to highlight it, so Press the little um, pencil button up top. Which one? The pencil button. All right. And then we're going to say we're at the ramp. So put an X by the ramp. An X, like right here by the plane. Yep. Okay. All right. And then we are going to say we're going to take the turn with 20 on taxiway okay. alpha. We're going to cross 13 and 31 to 20. Cool. So okay. this is what they want to do. So taxiway right here to alpha. Taxi uh, alpha to 31 back to 2 zero. cool okay. so that's how we do it here too as well all right so we're gonna once again taxi out to runway 20 via alpha right and once you have 31 and 13 we're gonna say we're gonna cross 13 and 31 at alpha right okay all right so all right just yeah, a double check 60156 taxi runway 20 via alpha all right pre-take pre-taxi seat belt harness good yep. left steps up can't defrost off Avionics on, all right, transponder and standby, which is fine, we check the weather, ultimate test, radio, we'll check in a few, tax light is required, we don't need one, just that one right here, brakes test, attitude in indicator, so it's up and erect, to five, waiting five degrees, we're up and erect, so we're good on that, turn coordinator, we will watch while we taxi, all right, okay. to make sure it's good, all right, HID compass, Compass HI, all right, few, we are in standard, it's five degrees up, but it's, it's all right. All right, and then we are going to taxi. So right now, before we taxi, we're going to turn the fuel pump off. Okay. But we don't need it right now, we just need it for setup. Cool. So now we're listening to, to the weather. 
we're gonna get um, a traffic advisory, so I want you to say Danville Unicom, 24139er, on the ramp with ASOS, requesting traffic advisory, please. Okay. You got it? Alright, so you, do you want to practice it real quickly? So it's just Danville traffic. So Danville Unicom, so. Okay, so Danville Unicom, November 24139, at ramp. With the ASOS. With ASOS. Requesting, requesting traffic advisory, please. Yeah, we're trying. Okay. 601, right. crossing 31, cool. 13 Alpha. You got it? Okay. All right. Let's, kind of, sort of. Let's, let's give it a shot. All right. So red button is radio. Which it's right here. Sorry. Black one. Mic. Yeah. CWS. Which one? So, the mic. 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 Okay. Yes. You got it. Okay. Sample Unicom, November 24139 with ASOS at the ramp. Requesting traffic advisory, please. There you go. 24139 er Danville Unicom, one aircraft preparing departure on 20, no other reported traffic. That's what it said, traffic using 20, thank you, 24139 er Traffic 20, thank you. That's a traffic using 20. All right. Traffic using 20 and 24139 er thank you. All right, so now we're going to taxi around with 20 Alpha, so you're going to tell Danville traffic to Danville traffic, 24139 er a stack in to runway 20 via Alpha. Okay. Alright. Denver traffic, 24139er, taxing to 20 via Alpha. Alright, good. So we're gonna release the brakes, so just. Yep. So don't press the, um, the button back there, yeah, just press and release. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yep, so now we're gonna do brake test, so we're gonna apply a little bit of power. Alright, and I'm gonna test mine first. Okay. All right, I'm going to do brake test. All right. All right, brakes yeah. are good. Uh, you have flight controls? My controls. You have flight controls. All right, then you're going to test your brakes. It's an inch of power. Get it going. Damn, you're going to come full one stop for Tango with right. 13 right. miles to the west. Okay, so we're going to attack you that way to, to run my T0, all right? Okay. 417 for Tango, Danville Unicom. One aircraft preparing departure on 20. One taxiing for 20. Nothing else reported. 20, thank you. Danville traffic, Mooney 469, Mike. Mike, we're about 10 miles east. The overflying just north there, field southwest bound at 2000. There you go. 469, Mike. Right Mike, here. Danville Unicom, yes. have traffic okay. using runway 20, nothing else reported. Roger, we're just overflying just north of field at 2000. Just letting everybody know. So I forgot because I, I really thought you've been here for a while. So before when we are going on the intersection, or like like right there, we check to see on on, on both sides if it's clear or not. So we say left side is clear, right okay. side is clear before we go on just to verify that we won't know that it's clear. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna come to a. We don't have to come to a stop, but we will. All right. We're gonna come to a stop. Just for since it's your first time at this airspace, right? And then we're gonna look on base to final on runway one three. Is it clear? No traffic at all. Clear high and low. All right. Yeah, for traffic. Right. We're one for Tango is right. ten miles to the and west. And for forty five upwind for two zero. Let right. Devil tra traffic no two for one three. It's crossing runway one three and three one at Alpha. Okay. All right. Devil traffic November two four one three nine is crossing runway three one at Alpha. All right. Then just go ahead and. So when we're across, we get the landing lights on. Danville traffic, Mooney 469, Mike, Mike, we're about six and a half miles uh, northeast, southwest bound to 2000. All right, so once we're clear, we're going to tell them we're once we... Yep. Yep. Put in the tab bit. So we're gonna angle it to the tab so we don't get inside your blast. All right, now you can tell them that you're clear. Sample traffic two four one three nine er is clear runway three one at Alpha. All right, cool. So now landing lights off. All right, so this part of the flight we're gonna do our run up, right? Okay. So go back to your checklist. Sample do the run up section. Are we gonna set the brakes? All right. There you go. Alright, so we're going to do 
crew proper tank. So since the tanks are full, it doesn't matter what tank we use. So normally we taxi and start up on the fullest tank. All right, it says okay. trim for takeoff. We go right here, look for a trim. It's on neutral, so that's what we need. The trim for takeoff is good. Okay. All right, all next right. is flight controls. So with flight controls, we go all the way, pull back. All right, look on the opposite, look on the tail to make sure it's up. Push it down. And the traffic moving 469 good. Mike, we're about and three and a half miles. We announced north. the flight controls are Southwest free north. and they are correct. Okay. All right. Yeah, so next we have the announcer the lights. It's five miles to the west, setting up for 45 up for 20. Announcer the lights. All right. So you just hit this button right here. Okay. Press inwards. It, they all illuminate, all so they are working. Yep. Okay. Cool. Instruments. This is how we do our cross check. We are in. It's our set. Yep. So 75 feet. There's no excellent airspeed indicator. The heading is good. Okay. Um, it's up and erect. Airspeed is good. It's at zero. Fuel for tank. Good. 75 feet. Um, it's in all green and our RPMs look to be good. Okay. All right. Now we have our mixer, rest power, full so ridge. full rig. Yep. All right, so we're gonna now hold the brakes. All right. And do 2,000 RPMs on the tachometer. All right, so go ahead and increase it to 2,000. Cool, yep. So right now it says right max, so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the right max. We're going to look for a drop in RPMs, not too much. drop. All right, so there you go. Yep, so left mag. Good, there's no roughness. Drop. All right. All right, so we should have carb heat. Carb heat right there, yep. Carb heat is on. 100 drop. Let's see. So we don't have a, va we don't have a vacuum inside here, but we have okay. an amp. Amp, okay, so it's plus 0.23. Yep, so amp is good. All right. All right, fuel pressure. Fuel pressure. It's all in the green. Oil pressure's in the green. Yep. Oil temp is in the green. Idle check closed. Yep, so start all with idle. And so we look to see if the, you inside, uh, so if the prop is still spinning. Yeah, it's still spinning. That's good. Like all right, that. then the throttle fiction is right here. All right, so it's free too as well. All right. Okay, so now we have pre takeoff. So pre takeoff is flaps set to zero. Okay. Up is zero, okay. All right. Mix your best power, just verify, mix your best power. Okay. Car beat is off. Okay. Car beat is off, the fuel pump on, so go ahead and turn the fuel pump on. There you go. Um, Peter, heat is required, we don't really need it right now. Okay. HI the compass, good, good, just to verify that for the second time today. Okay. AC is off, it's over oh, here. Yep. Yep. Up. Up. Doors, window here. shut, so latch, and your window with your shut as well. All right, transponder set on Altitude squawk mode, so altitude, altitude mode. Zero, altitude. All right. Okay. Landing lights on, so Landing you can go ahead and turn that landing lights on now. All right, strobe on. Yep, it's already on time. All right, brakes release. Okay. Okay. So, brakes wait for them to depart, which they will very shortly. All right, so since we're here, let's talk about our abort plan, all right? Okay. So, if we lose our engine while departing on the runway, all right, we will slow down with maximum braking and come to a complete stop and get off the runway. Okay. If we lose our engine below pattern altitude, which is below 1400, we will aim for best speed, which is 76 knots, which is glide speed. Look for the best suitable field and land straight ahead. Okay. If we lose our engine above pattern altitude, which is 1400, we will turn into the wind and land on runway two, which is the opposite of two zero. Cool? Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting toasty. Yeah, I'm fixing to take mine off too. It's, it's still just. But good thing is we can turn the ear on once we get up there. All right. Send my father a text because he's gonna watch me. On this? <laughs> oh, so he he's can watch you on that. The flight radar. Oh, the flight radar. Okay. I wanted to say he can um, connect to your thingy. That's kind of nice. Uh, Damage traffic, four one seven for tango, this was downwind to two zero. Damage traffic, one five six, departing runway two zero, departing to the southeast. Alright, so you can just undo your brake now. Just follow the yellow line and just line up, and then we're gonna come to a complete stop and hold short. Traffic one, 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 three, three, one, off. All right, and hold 
also right here. All right, so we once they depart and once traffic, we're probably gonna make make him land because he's a student pilot solo by himself. So he's soloing. Yeah, that's cool. I think he went he went to a, a class Delta airspace and and, and back this morning. My toes are cold. Pretty cold. That old twin engine has some pretty good performance, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that baby climbs. It's... I like flying it. Alright, so since we're here waiting, we can just double check everything. Fuel pump on, line of lights on, strobe is on, car beat off, mixture is full. Alright, we have everything good, so we can just go ahead and open our flight plan just to have it right here. If you um click and type in K um K Dan and enter, I'll put yeah. All right. And I don't mean to stretch over you. Fine. Runways like that. Okay. All right, so you can know which runway, and now we can enter the pattern. Great job, Super Tango. All right, so we're gonna text you out now to runway. So, uh, so just tell them two four one three nine er is text is departing runway two zero. All right. So we're gonna check final. Okay. Clear. Final's clear. High yep. and low. Okay, check final. Clear. Departures. All right. So just let them know double traffic two four one three nine er departing runway two zero to the northwest. Okay. Okay. Double traffic. 24139ers departing on 20 to the northwest. Alright. Alright, so here we go. Okay. So hands on the throttle, just ended up just an inch, so we're gonna taxi on the runway. Okay, we're gonna to We're gonna go ahead and taxi all the way straight out. Then we're gonna line up and come to a complete stop, alright? And it's up. And there it is, come to Compi stop. Alright, so we want to verify 20, so we are on runway 20. Okay. So 20 is in front of us, you see it? Yes. Alright, 20. 208. Alright, yep. and 20, alright. So now we're going to want to add full power, so go ahead and add full power in there. So release off the brakes, foot on the pedals only, not on the brakes. Okay? Alright, around 55 knots, we're going to look for the airspeed is alive. So once the car to come alive, so airspeed okay. is now alive. Airspeed look for alive. 55 knots. All right, all green, all green right here, hands on the throttle. All right, and we're gonna now rotate. Slowly but surely. Oh, there you go. And put it down just a bit. All right, then we're gonna fly run away heading for now. So since we're climbing, there's going to be P factor is going to be prevalent. So we're going to add a tablet of right rudder in there just to keep us coordinated.
Alright, Darren, if you're hot, we have vents that we can open, alright? Okay. And we're gonna fly out runway heading, we're gonna fly out to pattern altitude, which is 1400. Once we're at 1400, we are gonna tell them with traffic. 24139 is departing the traffic pattern to the northwest. Cool? Okay. Okay. So when we depart, what is that considered departing? We just tell them that we are leaving the traffic pattern. Like when? Like right now. Okay. Like 1400. Okay. Sambo traffic, 24139 is departing the traffic pattern to the northwest. Yep, so you go ahead and turn to the northwest. Yeah, so once they reach 1400, just let them know that. What heading are we turning to? Uh, 330 is fine. Okay. Alright, so at 2000, we're going to do our climb checklist. So our, our climb checklist com, um, consists of two things fuel pump off okay. and landing lights, and then we check fuel pressure. Alright, fuel pressure is good. Yep. Cool. So with our airplane, we always keep our hand under throttle at all times. Okay. Alright. Alright, and then you might hear me say 24139 or left hand turn to 300, and I want you to repeat back left hand turn 300, 24139. Cool? Okay. Alright. So 24139 left hand turn to 300. 24139 left hand turn to 330. 300. 300. Yes, 300. Right, left hand turn to 330. Alright, and then we're going to climb to 3,500. Okay. Practice some maneuvers. Reason being, all maneuvers should be done at or above 1,500 AGO, right? So we're working 3500, so we want to set the nose. Okay. There you go. Yep, so let's set the nose on the horizon, then pitch set the nose and power. So power back to cruise flight. Cruise flight is around 2350 on the RPMs. Bring on some more. Alright. Then we want to also do the trim. So, matter of fact, 2350 might be a little too much because it's cold outside. So just a little bit. I have control for a minute. Controls. I have controls. Alright, all pretty good. Perfect. Alright, so. Straight on level flight. Once we're at certain level, we're gonna set pitch first. So pitch on the on the horizon. Power set back to cruise flight. Trim the aircraft off the whole altitude. All right. So pitch power trim to trim it out. All right. So we're gonna now let's fly it some more into our practice area, and then we can start on some slow flight, power off and on stall, steep turns. Cool. Okay. All right. So you have flight controls. My controls. You have flight controls. Yeah. So before
before each maneuver, we do clearing turns, right? Yes. So I like to set my clearing turns to uh, two 90s. So one to the left and one to the right, just to clear the air. So we make it that Trevor can see us and we can see them. All right, so since we're right here right now, how about we go ahead and do a, a, a set of clearing turns before we start, all right? Okay. All right, so we can just do one to the, the left first. Okay. So we're going to bank 30 degrees or so and just going to scan for traffic. All right, so we're just looking underneath the wing to make sure traffic is clear. Looking around us, make sure it's clear as well. All right, once we check, we check above us, make sure it's clear. Traffic is clear, there's no traffic above us. All right, that's our 90, so we're going to roll out. All right, we climb a little bit, but that's fine. All right, then we're going to go back to the opposite di direction now. All right, so we're looking below our wing, so it's clear. There's no traffic below us. Look in front of us, make sure there's no traffic. Everything's good above our wing. Make sure it's also clear. All right, so that's our 9 you're going to roll out. Here, sit, sit back the nose on the horizon. All right, cool. All right, 2 4 one give me a right-hand turn, uh, 330 this time as well. Uh, two four one three nine or right hand turn to three three zero. Yep. Two four one three nine. -er. That's ten degrees over, but. Yep, and this this tend to maintain thirty five hundred for me. Let's make sure you ease some power out there. Yep, so we can send a 3500. Yeah. Maintain 3500 right here. Yeah, so far back in the cruise flights around uh, 2300 RPMs or 2200 RPMs should be fine. All right, great. So we did our clearing turns. We're going to go ahead and do set up for slow flight, right? So you said you memorized slow flight, but I'm going to still go ahead and show you the first, right? Okay. So I so IFI controls. Your controls. IFI controls. So right now we're going to do slow flight. So I'm going to. Set me up at 1500 RPM, so 1500 on the tachometer. Alright, I'm gonna try my best to hold my altitude. Alright, in the wide arc, wide arc, flaps 10. Alright, flaps 25, flaps 40, which is full. Alright, at 65 knots on the airspeed indicator, I'm gonna do 2000 RPMs. Alright, to hold 3500. Alright, so I might say right hand turn. All right, just give me a right hand turn. We don't bank XC 20 degrees of bank in slow flight. All right, so you're gonna just slowly turn. So heading up 330. Five degrees of bank is fine for now. All right, I wanna maintain 3500. All right, so in slow flight, we operate in the region of reverse thrust command on the bell curve. So power controls altitude and your pitch controls your airspeed, okay? All right, so I might say to a left-hand turn also, so do not exceed more than 20 degrees of bank. So five to 10 is fine right now. See, I'm kind of high, so I'm going to release some power setting right there. All right, once I'm back to straight and level flight, how to recover, it's full power. The first degrees of flaps to 40 out immediately. All right, we got a positive rate on the VSI, flaps to 10. The airspeed is building, all right, flaps to zero. Cool. Once we're there, I'm going to descend back to my altitude in case I climb. All right, and I'm fine. All right, so you're going to give it a shot and go for it, all right? Okay. You, you ready? Okay. All right, so I'm going to pass on UFI controls. All right, my controls. UFI controls. All right. All right, so whenever you're ready. So go ahead and send them for a slow flight. Uh, we're looking for 1,500. Yep, 1,500. 
Try to hold altitude. Mm -hmm. And the white arc, 10 degrees of flaps. The white arc, 10 degrees. Yep. All right, there's 10. 25. And don't let the nose put, um, balloon up on your right, so you put it down forever. There you go. Then full flaps. Full flaps. And then at 65 knots, right there, 2,000 RPMs. So put it up 2,000. There you go. There you go. Traffic, there you go. Zero, All right, 2,000 RPMs to hold 3,500 at 65 knots. Okay. And a 241 give me a right hand turn to 300. 24139er, right hand turn of 330. 300. 300, yep. okay. Alright, I'm going to remember hand on the throttle. Alright, 24139, give me a right hand turn again to north. Two four one three nine er right hand turn to three six zero or zero zero zero. All right. North. The north. All right. So you you climb one hundred and twenty feet. All right. So just take out an inch of power and just set your nose back to the center of the tad bit. There you go. And just set your nose just so it's up to the set. Now just jump another tab, just push it down so we can get that back to 3500. Okay. Alright, and I want you to recover. Alright. One micro EMP. Dropping one. Yep. Alright. Settled. One more. All right. All right. And the last one. All right. Great. Cool. Now we're gonna do a power off stall. So we power off stall. We need a full clearance turn. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know now. So I know you're probably not used to holding this. Yeah. But we have a tendency. All instructors, yeah, if the student doesn't, we kill their engine and you have to land on the field. Okay. On a field. All right. So we don't want that to happen. All right. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do a set of clearing turns and then power off stall. All right, so, so let's do a descent clearing turn to 3,500, one to the left, and then one to the right. Cool. Okay. All right. So we're good here. Just to check the area, make sure we're clear of traffic before we start our other maneuver. Well, my friend, I'm on Alright, now slow climb up to 3500. Alright, so the climb is at full power. Go on the climb. Yep, full power, and that's the subject climb. There you go. Alright, so 50 feet above. Want to go ahead and set your nose back on the horizon. There you go. Alright, so for, for also, IFI controls. Controls? IFI controls. So we already did uh, clearing turns, correct? Yes. So for per off stall, we're gonna descend, we're gonna reduce RPM to 1500. All right, we're gonna hold 35 as best as possible. And the wide arc, wide arc, 10 degrees of flaps. All right, 25. Okay, and 40 degrees of flaps. All right, so I'm gonna hold 3500 at 65 knots. I'm gonna simulate a descent because it's a per off stall, right? Okay. Once I'm back at 65 knots, like right there, okay, I'm going to induce a stall by inducing the angle of attack by increasing it, right? Yeah. So right rudder right is needed because P factor is prevalent, right? Yeah. So we're going to have right rudder right in there just to keep us coordinated so we don't spin. All right, I'm going to do a stall to the buffet for you to see. All right, there's a buffet, nose drop, full power immediately, just to recover. 
Alright, first notch off goes out. That was two notches. Alright, my bad. Alright, then the 25 out once the VSR in, in, indicates a positive rate stops to zero once the airspeed is building. Cool? And I'm going to come back up to 3500. You get it or do you want me to do again for you? I should have it. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to come back up to 3500. Um, bear in mind, if I talk fast for you, tell me to slow down because okay. I have a tendency to talk fast because yeah. right. I speak two languages, so it's like Spanish. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You just tell me to shut up, all right? Or okay. slow, oh yeah. <laughs> or, or slow down. All right, so right here, you have that controls? That controls. You have that controls. So we're going to do a port off sound, all right? All right. Okay. So we're going to reduce power to 1500. Yep, 1500. We're going to set for 65. All right. So in the white arc. So we're going to go flaps 1. Yep, so flaps 10. Or yep. flaps 10. All right, maintain 3500. There you go. All right, flaps 25. Flaps 25. Yep, and flaps 40. Flaps 40. Right, okay. and we're going to hold 65 knots. Alright. Alright, once there, we're going to simulate that descent now. There you go. Alright. Descent, good. We're going to increase the angle of attack. Alright. Alright, we're going to add some right right in there to keep coordinated because of P factor. Alright, we're going to do to the buffer. So, right, no hands on the controls on the throttle. We're going to make the airplane want to fall. And there it is, and full power. There you go. Cool. The brick stall to the secondary stall. So, flaps out. Yep, 25, 40, sorry. Then, positive rate. Go ahead and flaps 20, 10. Sorry, I can't speak today. Air two billion, flap zero. Alright, cool. Great. So, come back up to 3,500. Alright. And then we're going to do a clearing turn. So, right. for. You good? Okay, so for this clearing yep. turn, just give me a 180. So, I'm just going to set this for you right here. Just give me a 180 clearing turn so we can just check the area. And uh, so we don't get too far away from the airport, all right? All right. Turn out direct to Lawrenburg I might turn the heat on. Is that fine? Okay, perfect. Because your boy is toes are freezing. All right. So we do a which way? Right 180? You know, let's do a left 180 for your side, all right? Okay. Yep. All right. Staying at 35, 35. Yep, 3,500. Like Alright, do you know why I did that? I didn't have my hands on it. Okay, you didn't have my hands on it. Alright, so power back to cruise flight. And I'm back at 3500. Alright. Let me know when it gets hot, alright? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do a part on stall, right? You have control. So part on stall. Okay. Same concept. We're gonna maintain 3500. Power at 1500 RPMs. Okay. I'm gonna hold so far so 10 degrees in the wide arc, 25. And we only use 25 degrees of flaps, all right? Okay. Once we're at 65 knots, gonna hold for 65 knots. All right. We're gonna pitch up and just add full power. All right. We're gonna okay. add some rat rudder in there. Just so we can see a coordinator so we don't get into a spin. Alright. And hold it right there for on stall. I'm looking outside as well. Looking outside, I'm trying to induce a stall. I hear the stall horn, but I'm going to try to make it buffet just a little bit so you can know the, the feeling of a stall, a poor on stall while it, it shakes, okay? There's the shake right there. You feel the shake? Yep. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Right? And there it is. Alright, so once there is, flaps, spin. It's a building, flaps to zero. Cool? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna descend and give you back to a 3500. So you're doing these with flaps 20? So 25, yeah. Or 25, yeah. Yes. This is. It's some pressure in there. It was heavy. Okay, you have that controls? Alright, I have controls. Alright, we're gonna do one. Alright. 
All right, you ready? I am. Okay. Drop flaps to 15. To Hold 15. altitude. Yep. And a white There's art. A white art. Yep. There's 10. All right. 25. Yep. All right. Then yes, note that down there, right there. And then run 65 clums in. All right. Yep. Pitch up. Seven, 66, 65. Yep. And then right. full power pitch up. So we don't exceed 20 diggers of bank. Remember hands right here? There yeah. you go. All right, it's fine. You're gonna get used to it, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just increase the critical angle of attack. Okay, there's... Right where it's in there, it's a bit, very good. It's a key coordination. There's All right. Buffet. And then you can just do the first buffet. So it starts to shake. shake. Okay, and now you can just recover. All right, yep, so just release that back pressure. There you go. Awesome. All right, so the airspeed and PSI is indicating a trend and the increase in airspeed, so flaps to 10. There you go. And then flaps to zero. Cool. Then just descend and maintain 3500. And then we can do a clearing turn to 330. All right, a left hand turn to 330. Left hand turn to 330, clearing turn. Yep. So we can just also check the area, make sure we are good. Descend to 3500. Yes, please. Okay. All right. We're good there. All right, it's getting warm now. I feel like a fried chicken. Adding of what? 330. 330? Three, three, yeah. Okay. Good. It's fun. It happens. It happens. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna set up. Let's look for a point where we could set up and do steep turn. So for steep turn, it's a vis it's an outside visual reference maneuver, so we have to pick a point. So how about this? How about you see that road? Let's point our nose towards that road, all right? Since we're already in this general direction. All right, and that could be our clearing turn, probably like a full-on 180 just now. So all right, roll out right here. All right, so let's put our heading bug on there too. So if you put insert this like this, it goes directly towards okay. it, cool? That's a good little hack to have. All right, so steep turn. We do steep turns at 95 to 100 knots, or at 2350 under RPMs. Density altitude plays a big factor because if it's cold outside, we don't need all the RPMs in. All right, if it's hot outside, then we might need it. But since it's cold, the airplane wants to perform because the air is dense. All right, so we're going to hold steep turn right here. So to do steep turns, we do at a 45 degree bank angle. Past 30 degrees of bank, we're going to add back pressure. So add back pressure in so we can compensate for the loss of lift. All right, cool. Okay. So if you want to do one, you can definitely go right ahead. So this is our point. That's our point. We are in standards. Oh, let's come back up to, to, to 35 first. Sorry. Okay. That full power. Come back up. Then we could um, try to see turns at 3500. Oh, so full power all the way in. Yep, so one o'clock. All right. Yep, and then just set your nose down the horizon first. All right, then power. All right, let's make sure the aircraft is also stable. So if I let go to control to see what the aircraft's doing, it wants to fly, good, we're straight and level. All right, cool. So set it right there. All right, so see turns. Power back to the tad bit. Pull it right there. All right, so I'm just gonna show you a sea turn, which you probably already know, know how to do it, right? In a Cessna, yes. That's not, all right, cool. So we're right there at 100 knots. The bank 35 degrees, well, 45 degrees. Pass 30, add that back pressure in there. All right, we're going to be looking outside. All right, so we're going to hold our altitude, airspeed increases. Okay. All right, I'm looking outside, all right, to make sure that I am um, with the horizon. I'm okay. climbing, because I see my nose climbing, it's going to release some back pressure. So we're going to use small micro adjustment to hold altitudes, all right? So my turn is coming back up because I'm looking outside, looking outside, my road my road should be coming back up. There's my road right there. I'm going to set the nose down so I don't pass it, right? So I might climb a little bit, so I'm at 3580. Yes, I climbed 100 feet or so, I apologize. 
All right, but I'm on my heading. Cool. Okay. Same thing for the right. Go towards the right. So, one more. Add that pressure in. 45 degrees. Pull that back pressure in there. I feel like I'm descending. Descending. So I'm gonna hold it right there. Air speed is great for right now. Feel it descending. I can feel the airplane sinking. So I'm gonna add that back pressure in there to maintain 3500. Right. Holding it at 95 knots, probably fine. Coming in, coming in. My road should be coming up because that's the airport. My road is somewhere right here, over there. All right, close enough. <laughs> it's just bad to say. All right, so road is over there, but 3,595 knots on heading. Cool? Okay. You got it? All right. All right, cool. Let me... It's fine, you can do one right here. You cool? You got it? I'm you think you can it. do it? Yep. All right, perfect. So you're going to set your nose, yeah, set your nose back to the road. You ready? Two one eight, and we're gonna do one to the right or to the left, or does it matter? Yep, do one to your left first, all right? Okay. Just, uh, yeah. All right. Oh my, coming up, Bob. Uh, thirty-five twenty. All right. So past thirty degrees. Add add that back pressure in there. Yep. Pull back some more. Pull back. There you go. That back pressure in there. All right. Okay. Yep. Some more back pressure so we can climb to back to 3500. There you go, a small bit. Here you go, back to 35. You can smaller roll out now because your turn is coming up. There it is, road. All right there, cool. Now one right. to the right, all right? Okay. All right, so man. when I was halfway through that turn, do I need to add more power? Yes, just that, yeah. Mm -hmm. or? Yeah, so once you're in the turn, just inch the power up a tad bit so you can okay. hold that 95 to 100 knots, all right? Okay. So we don't want to over speed or under speed, but 95 to 100 knots is just fine. Cool? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, because can... I was halfway through it and I was gaining altitude, but my airspeed was, was like dropping. 85, yeah. yeah. All right, so you can just go ahead and then one to the right. Okay. And just remember, just look outside too. So 90% of your focus should be outside. 10% inside. All right, so just release some back pressure just a tad bit. There you go. All right, there you go. Good. All right, small micro adjustment movement. All right. Coming up. All right, cool being. So not too bad. All right, so we, we just got to work on practicing micro movement, right? Okay. So not to like overdo it, because once we overdo it, we're going to want to start climbing progressively and distant progressively, then we're going to have to try to fix it. Cool? Okay. All right, give me a right hand. So two for one thing and a right hand turn to three, three, zero. All right, we'll go ahead and sit your heading book okay. for you to three, zero, zero, so you know, all right? For one three nine or right hand turn to three three zero. Yep, three three zero. Second, let me just pull up this document real quickly. Uh, all right, give me a Climbing turn, so I had enough. Two five zero and climb and maintain four thousand five hundred. Two four zero two five zero. Two five zero okay. and climb and ma maintain four thousand five hundred. Left hand turn to two five zero, climb and maintain four five zero. Yep, four thousand five hundred. Okay. All right. It's 
So also just go ahead and set your heading bug to 250. I want you to get the feeling of climbing turns in this in the arches, all right? Okay. All right. Okay, three, three is coming up. There you go. All right, so remember once you're at four or five, or 50 feet up, um, just above it, get your nose on the horizon, then power the cruise, which is 2350 or 2300, and just trim the aircraft out, okay? Okay. Cut yourself. Good. All right. Give me a turn. So two four one three nine. Give me a right hand turn to zero six zero. Maintain four thousand five hundred. Okay. Two four one three nine. Right hand turn to zero three zero. Zero six zero. Zero six zero and maintain four five. Yep. So go ahead and set your heading book first to zero six zero. Yeah. So we can get in the habit of that. All right. So it's there for you to help you out. There you go. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead. Yep, let's get your turn in. Okay. Two for one three nine er, give me a left hand turn to Three zero zero. Three zero zero. Yep. All right. Two four one three nine er. Left hand turn to three three zero. Or three zero zero. There you go. And all of these have to be clearing turns, correct, or somewhat. So before all maneuvers, you have to do clearing turns. Yes. But what I'm doing right now is lesson one, which is to get you used to turns in this in the archers okay. um climbing turns descending turns and just turn in general so you have a feel because i know the sessions they're a high wing airplane so i want you to get the feel of it um for lesson one all right then two four one three nine er descend and maintain three thousand five hundred okay two four one three nine er descend and maintain three thousand five hundred five hundred yep. So we're going to probably go back to the airport now since we've done some slow flight and stuff like that. But okay. I might let you just do um, a quick review that you sent me for slow flight, port off and on stalls. All right. And then we'll go back to the airport and practice some landing. It's cool. Okay. All right. I just got to get used to find this G500. Oh, you will get used to it in no time. All right. So yeah, you were in a six pack, but no. the six pack you were in was the the student that was solo and that just landed, and I didn't want you to wait for a plane. So like, let me just put you in a G500, teach you about it, and you should be fine. Okay. It's great to have experience in a six pack and a G500, right? So you can fly almost anything here. Go ahead 
gonna check the message. Message to pops. Go ahead, set fuel tank. Alright, so we're gonna switch fuel tanks once you're le once you're level up at 3500. And back to cruise flight. So part in the cruise. So pitch power trim. Alright, we're good. Good. Alright, so we go we want to turn the fuel pump on once you're finished doing what you're doing. Rocky Mount Wilson traffic, Cirrus 9 Charlie Delta is uh, about eight miles to the uh, north uh, on a practice instrument approach runway 22. All right, you got it. Are right, the turning on the horizon? Um, what? I got it. Yep, cool. Close. All right, so turn your fuel pump on. Fuel pump. Okay. Fuel pump on. Yep. And then switch the switch from the right to, to the left. All right. All right, then fuel pump up. Check fuel pressure. Fuel pressure is great. All right, cool. Now set me up for a slow flight. Slow flight, okay. We just turned the 3600, okay? Okay. Yeah, we're going to count with 4122 Delta requesting your foot advisor. We out there yourself. You want to get flaps 10? Okay. Four one two two Delta, Danville Unicom, and no traffic 20. reported. Flaps forty. Okay. Sixty five, add to two thousand. There you go. And then the throttle is the PSI, and the yoke is the. Airspeed. Yeah, we're copying number four, one, yep, two, so, three, 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 Alright, so we are 3580, 36. Alright. We're in the white, we're gonna add 10. 85, 25 pretty much. Go 40. And we're looking for 65. Oops. Fifteen hundred right there right is good. Establish that descent. So put your nose on. Uh, yep, there he is. And then you can now increase back pressure so we can induce the angle of attack to get that stall. All right, so keep the fifteen hundred. All right, the tablet of right rudder just to keep us centered. All right, induce the stall. Good buffer. Yeah, and there it is. Traffic, Sirius Nine Charlie Delta is a five mile final. First runway two two, two practice instrument approach. Rocket so out. yep, get the forty. Yeah, the there you go. Four one two two Delta crossing one three. Three, three, three right alpha. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, now we're gonna try to get back to the, ear, the airport. So go ahead and listen to your weather. Okay. Three Celsius. Altimeter three zero two seven. Remarks. Density altitude minus 1,100. Danville Regional Airport. Automated weather observation 1453. Zulu. Wind 230 at 04. Visibility 10. Sky condition overcast 12,000. Temperature 03 Celsius. Good. Dew point minus 03 Celsius. Right, cool. So now. We're gonna go back direct to Danville, right? So you have the input insight. All right, yeah. awesome. So do you know how to use the S um the G four thirty direct uh, GPS or direct traffic advisory? We have use call. small knob to get your letters, big knob Thank to go over to the next space. To Danville. All right, all the way over. No other reported traffic. Thank you. All right, and there it is. All right, so we are eight miles for, to the northwest. So we just got a a Danville Unicom advisor of traffic. 
So we're going to say Danville traffic. 2413-niner is 8 miles to the south to the northwest. Setting up for a 45 upwind for runway 20. Okay? Because we are on the upwind side of runway 20. Cool? Do you okay. get it? So, Danville Unicom. With Danville traffic. Danville traffic. 2413-niner. With ASOS. Danville traffic, yep. 827. Seven miles from the airfield. Set up for a 45 degree upwind. Yes, yeah, so seven miles to the northwest. Setting up for a 45 degree upwind for, for runway 20. 20. Yep. Okay. All right. But you don't have to say the ASOS part if you don't want to say it. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Campbell traffic 24139er is six miles northwest of the airfield, setting up for a 45 degree upwind for runway 20. Okay. Some maneuvers about 1500 feet. Right. We'll be on the north side here. Back to area traffic. Anybody right. in the vicinity? So please? let's go ahead and get our, our descending. So far back to around about 15 or so. Establish a descent. We're going to enter the traffic pattern. All right, so normally before you do that, we ask for a traffic advisory and stuff like that from Unicom, but prior to that, two planes already called in. So I already hear what's happening. So there's one coming in. And there's one was turning the final, right? We're just gonna go in now and just um, do a few landings and call it a day. Cool. Okay. Down with traffic two seven Tango Fox Trots crossing one three three one via Alpha. We just have to also just look out for other traffic as well. All right. Down yeah, with traffic number four one two two Delta departure two zero. All right, and we can just expedite that descent too. Okay. Oh. Yep, so around three miles, I wanted to say Danville traffic. Two for one three nine are, is on a three mile 45 upwind for runway two zero, because we're on the upwind side of the field, okay? Off the runway. Okay. All right. And as we can just inch up some power back again, so we can just expedite. Danville traffic 17, or five star is clear of one three three one. All right, so on a 45, I like to point to there's a VOR in front of the field right there. Do you see it? Yep. On the other, uh, yeah. Side. Just, I'm just pointing us toward the VOR so we can enter on a 45. So that's a good 45 for you guys to have or to visualize to fly to. All right. And then once we're at 1400, which is pattern altitude, we go ahead and just stay at 1400 until we are ready to touch down from base to final. All right. Okay. okay. So three miles setting up for. A yep. So three miles. So three. So we are on a three mile 45 upwind for two zero. Okay. Okay. Danville traffic, 24139ers on the three mile upwind, 45 for runway 20. Yeah. All right, cool. So now the wind is pushing us, so that's why I point my nose towards the VOR, because all this wind is blowing me that way, so just to have my wind correction angle in. All right? Okay. And you have the departure traffic in sight? Yes. Okay, cool. So now we're going to do our checklist, right? So two things, landing lights on, fuel pump on, mixture rich, car beat is off, and descent check is complete. All right, and that's it. And then we just verify with our checklist, all right? But since we're so close, that's about it, okay? Okay. All right, now we want to turn our, our open leg. So right now, we can just go ahead and tell Denver traffic, 24139er is upwind for runway 20. Okay. Denver traffic, 24139er is upwind for runway 20. All right, this is the center 1400. We are, we, are, we are not banking, but the wind is pushing us, right? So, yeah, we're just going to fly this heading for now. I want you at 1400. There you go, and then part of the cruise flight. Yep, so 2300 RPMs. All the way in there. Higher. Higher. There you go, 2300. Cool. Okay, 2300, okay. Yep. And then we're gonna turn crosswind over the numbers, all right? Have a traffic number four one two two delta the part of traffic pattern to the southeast. All right, so there's nobody here. That's good. So we're gonna turn crosswind over the numbers. So clear, clear, clear. Let's say you're gonna say downward traffic to one thing ladder is turning crosswind over the numbers from runway two zero. Okay. Okay. Downward traffic two four one three nine is turning crosswind over the numbers from runway two zero. Alright, we're going to look for anybody in the trigger pattern. Everything is good. Alright, so maintain 1400. Get some trim out there. There you go.
Alright, take out the inter power. There you go. There you go. And then. We're gonna turn down in a minute. We're angled that way because the wind is pushing that way. Alright, they're turned down in. Okay. So you want me to go and call them? Yeah, you can tell them that you are midfield down for 2 0. Okay. Sample traffic, 2 for 1 3 9 is midfield for. Midfield downwind for runway 20. Okay. Alright, so. With landing, same thing as, um, I don't know how to assess that you guys teach it at, at your 05 school. Alright, but once we, once the wings are a beam, the number, alright, we're gonna get power back to 1500 RPMs. Okay. Cool. That's right. it. Alright, so, so right here. That. Yep, then 10 dots or 10 degrees of flaps. Alright, we normally set our nose just a, a tad bit. Set our nose, and then we add 25 degrees of flaps. Cool, right there is fine. Alright, just set your nose right here. Alright. Alright, you might see me help you with the control the tad bit, alright? Okay. Alright. So just increase the part of the inch. There you go, so we can hold that. Then right here we're going to turn base for the nose is set, so go ahead and tell that you're turning base for okay. 920. Sample traffic 24139 is turning Base for runway two zero. Over. All right. Once you're at your base in, go ahead and put in your full forty degrees of flaps. Right. All right. And it's still kind of heavy. All right. So right here, we're gonna maintain seventy-five knots for now. When still establish that descending. So from base to final, we should be descending through a thousand feet, all right, once we turn final, all right? So from base to final, descending through a thousand. <laughs> and then our final approach speed is what? Uh, it should be 64. 65, yep, 65. good. All right, so now we can just still get our turn in, and we're going to try to maintain 65 knots. So tell them that you're turning final, and we're, right. it, it's going to be a touch and go. Sample traffic 24139 is turning final for runway 20, touch and go. We got three white. Yeah, we'll yep, number three, three, two, three, one, six kilos, uh, 15 miles east of the airport. We get bound for Dugby. And R now, so you want to find Stanville. All right, two white, two red, so we're just right? Okay. So, do you land big bars? I just land, we can, if you want to land on the thousand footers or the first third of the runway. All right, so power slowly decreasing. Let's dive it not all the way out. It says now you, you guys put the power out, right? All the way back. So we land with power just an inch. Okay. And then we slowly start to reduce power as we come towards the runway. For the idle now, increase the flare, round out, increase. It's heavy, but it's fine. All right, and there it is. Then we just put the nose down. Cool. Okay. Then drop the flaps. To nothing. Yep, to nothing, right. to zero, and then full power. And off the brakes, front the brakes, there you go, full power. Now hand back on the controls, right. there you go, and 165 knots is there. Just rotate slowly, there you go. All right, there's still demo traffic, demo traffic 24139er is on departure leg for 20. Okay. Demo traffic 24139er is on departure leg for traffic. <laughs> for two zero, for but two it's fine. Zero, yeah, okay. it's hey, it's fine. All right. Okay. Nobody know who you are yet, so it's good. All, all right. right. <laughs> and then we turn crosswind here at a thousand feet. All right. Okay. So now you establish who you are. You can just be like one three nine er. It's crosswind two zero. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. And go ahead and turn crosswind. Okay. Sample traffic 139ers turning crosswind for runway 20. Alright, so no one at 30 degrees in the pattern. There you go. We're gonna sit the climb in. And then we're gonna make our box. So go ahead and make a box. There it is. Ruins level. And then downwind. Turning downwind? Yep, turning downwind. Sample traffic 139s turning downwind for runway 20. Sample traffic, November 7011 Juliet is 10 miles to the west, inbound for landing. All right, so 1400. Now we're at 1400, yep. reduce power to 2000. Oh, to 2300. 2300, right. that's where it's already at. We're just pushing the tab bit away, so we're gonna just gonna, right here, should be fine. 
I can set your nose on the horizon, go rift climbing, just have it. I can see the nose climbing. Here you go. And with that being said, inch is an inch of power too. So the wind is having us here. Just think it's an inch of power. There you go. Yep. Alright, so once you're over the numbers, yep. 1500 RPMs. The wide arc, <laughs> flaps 10. All right, set your nose. There it is, set your nose, and then flaps 25. Down traffic, 7 Tango Foxtrot, we're taking off runway 20. Yep. And we'll just keep the nose set for now. The northeast. You're right there, there's fine. All right, so if the aircraft feels heavy, use trim to help you out. You can use the, the electric trim or the manual trim, all right? Okay. All right, then turn base right here over the factory. All right. Campbell traffic 139er is turning a base for 20. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead, flaps full. There you go, good. Alright, so we're going to just angle it into the window just a tad bit. Or we kind of fly it a tad bit more. Yep, there you go. And just maintain 65 knots. Don't let it drop below 65 knots, okay? Okay. Alright, right, so increase airspeed now. Increase airspeed. No, it's on airspeed, yeah. Airspeed, there you go. You can maintain that glide path. Alright, then you can make a final call for a final. Campbell traffic, 139ers turning final for runway 20. Touch and go. Alright, good. So two white, two red, just right. Alright, so I'm gonna let you control the power settings, okay? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna say reduce, reduce, reduce for you to reduce it until we are at idle, okay? okay. Alright, so we're gonna set the nose right there. Alright, so reduce it small amount. Alright. Okay, controls, okay? I'm just gonna be your disregard. Okay. All right, so, right there is fine. Do the power setting right there. Alright, reduce some more. Alright, reduce. Reduce. And idle, all right, round out, we're gonna round out right there. We're gonna introduce a flare in, flare. There it is. All right, and control, drop the flaps, maintain center line, right. and full power. Demo traffic over 7011 Juliet is on a three and a half mile, 45 for the upwind, runway 20, Demo. There's 65, let's see if she wants to go. Yep, here we go. Demo traffic 139, departure leg from runway 20, stay in the pattern. So you turn to crosswind at 1,000, yep. then you turn downwind at So we climb, we turn crosswind at 1,000, but it should be a climbing turn until we hit pattern altitude. Yes. Right. Campbell traffic 139ers turning crosswind for runway 20. Make your box. Alright, good. Alright, then Darwin. Alright. Campbell traffic 139ers turning downwind for runway 20. So don't actually 30 degrees, there you go. Down with traffic, November 7011 Juliet, upwind, runway 20. Oh, I have a mistake. Right here, yeah. Yep. And the horizon, there you go. The part of the cruise flight. Traffic, November 7011, Juliet, straight crosswind from way to zero level.
There's the white arc. Yep. 10 degrees. 10 degrees. Nice to your nose. There you go. And 25. Go ahead and turn base. Sample traffic 139ers turning base for runway 20. Dale traffic, November 7011 Juliet is downwind from way 20 Dale. Go ahead and throw 40 in. Yep, most definitely. We need some airspeed at around 70 knots. Alright, we're gonna hold 65 and make a call. Sample traffic 139ers turning final for runway 20. Sample traffic November 7011 Juliet turning base for 20 Danville. That was quick. Moving pretty good. All right, there's one. All right, so we're gonna hold 65 for now. All right. All right, so. Power slow, it's to reduce, there you go. Downward traffic, November 7011, Juliet, turning final for runway 20, Alright, easy, you got it. Alright, not too bad, good. 